Alrighty guys, well I'm out in the shop today and I've got a Precision Matthews X Y saddle on top of the Precision Matthews. Uh, this is Chad's. I'm going to be machining the oil slots for the one shot oiler. So I finished his mounts up and so now I'm doing his saddles and I'm going to get this shipped off to him. He'll finally get his mill up and running. So for the one shot oiler, all I did was just draw this up in cam bam. Uh, pretty simple, just a couple of lines and I'm just using an engraving. And I'm going to be going down uh, about 15,000, no about 16, 17 thousandths depth of cut. This is just a small little ball nosed eighth inch end mill. Um, Going to be using some uh, oil for lubricant. So let's get started. Made quick work of that. Looks pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna get that cleaned up. We'll get that out. Good. So this was 2,000, 2,500 RPMs at 20 inches per minute and a 0 0.017 depth of cut and I went 50 thousandths and this is for the X and then we're going to come back and we're going to flip it over and I'm going to do the Y so let me get all set up for that all right so I've got it flipped over and this is the bottom this is the Y axis I'm just going to cut a couple of oil slots in there so let's get started. It's really pretty quick. It, it's, it actually takes longer to lay it out than it does to actually do the grooves. This casting cuts really well. It's pretty easy to cut. So let me get this cleaned up. We'll take a look at it. Okay. Turns out pretty good. Now on the side here are the original holes for the locks and I'll just drill straight down through to access that hole and then we'll just put a oil uh, fitting there I used four millimeter tubing and we'll put a fitting there turned out pretty good I'll hit this edge right here with some, a little sandpaper just to make sure there's no sharp edges and that's it now we need to take this off and we'll work on the z-axis and then we'll be done.
All right. Finish that out. Now you may notice that it appears that these z-axis ways here were scraped, whereas the y and the x saddle was not. Not sure why. I can't remember if mine, I don't think any of mine were scraped, or maybe they were. I, I don't really remember at this point. I, actually, I think they were not scraped, but those are the old grooves. Now we'll just come back and drill a through hole to access these uh, locks that were originally on here. This hole will be plugged, and then we'll have to access two holes on the other side here because there are no locks on that side. Well, that wraps up the oil grooves. That wraps up all the work I needed to do for to get Chad going. So I know he's going to be happy to be able to get his mule up and running. And uh, now I can start working on other things. As you can see, really uh, fairly easy to cut, a lot quicker than it was with the X2. Uh, setups were a lot smoother. So I think next I'm going to work on maybe um, a new cover faceplate for the G0602 and then I'm going to start working on the belt drive I think. Stay tuned for those videos. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. If you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to comment. Stop by and visit the website and most importantly, be safe.